Get back to the crowd, you lot. Trying to bully your way through won't get you into Kirkwall any faster. But you do intend to let us in. <laughs> we have enough poor of our own in the free marches. We don't need you refugees piling up here like a midden's heap. I heard someone call this fortress the Gallows. Is it a prison? Used to be, back in the Imperial days. They kept slaves here until the rebellion. Now the Templars run it and use it to lock up their mages. Guess not much has changed. <laughs> Are mages imprisoned here? Well, no more than anywhere else. It's a circle of magi now. Magic is to serve man, not rule him. And mages are better locked up where they don't hurt anyone. There must be someone in charge I can speak with. <sighs> yes, yes, always the same story. You want in, talk to Captain Yuald. I'm just here to keep you refuse from climbing the walls. Why don't they open their bloody gates? Tell me, how did your family escape Lodering? Almost everyone who hadn't fled. My brother. If he wasn't with us, I don't think we'd be here. But you seem quite skilled as well. I'm not my brother. What do you want? Money! Huh? Let us through, you flaming blighter. We're not staying in this pit. Then get back on your ship and leave. Kirkwall has no more room for refugees. The ship's already gone. We'd pay good coin to get here. You and half of Ferelden. There's nothing I can do. The city is full. You wouldn't be out here if nobody could enter. That's right. We've seen you let lots of people through. Citizens and merchants that make it worth our while. I'll assume that you don't have any more coin than these gentlemen. We've been letting you Ferelden's in for months. You're too late. There's no more room. But we've got family here. I've heard claims like that a thousand times already, trust me. We'll find some ships to take you all back to Ferelden, eventually. Until then, you stay here. Our uncle is Gamlin Amal. He knows we're coming. Surely someone could find him. Gamlin? I know that name. He's a nobleman here in the city. Our family has an estate. A nobleman? The only Gamlin I know is a weasel who couldn't rub two coppers together. He comes back, I'll bring you to him. But I don't have time to... What? You're gonna let them through? I didn't say anything about... We've been here for four days! They just got here! That's it! We're carving our way out of here! Men! Unbelievable. <sighs> Captain, are you all right? I am, no thanks to you. Where is everyone? Go find them. I want this kept under control. You have my thanks. Look, I can't get you into the city. It's not my decision. But I'll find your uncle and bring him here. It's been three days. This waiting has to end. I'm sure it won't be much longer. Gamlin must still be looking for us. And if he's not? Wait. I think someone's coming. Leandra! Damn, girl. The years haven't been kind to you. Gamlin! 
Let me say up front, I wasn't expecting this. The Blight, your husband... dead. I'd, uh, figured you'd pretty much be Ferelden for life. Oh, Gamlin. We came too late. My darling Bethany didn't make it, and Drastic guide her. Oh, make her save me. Leandra, don't drop this on me here. I don't even know if I can help you get in. I'm more concerned about Mother. Can you get her in at least? No. We stay together. I was hoping to grease some palms, but the Knight Commander's been cracking down. We're gonna need more grease. But... what about the estate? Surely Father left something when he died? Right, about the estate. It's... um... gone. To settle a debt. I've been meaning to write you. Then there's no hope. N not quite. I know some people who might help. If you're not too delicate about the company you keep. We don't have any choice, do we? I need to get my family into Kirkwall. I talked to my contacts, and I found some people who might be willing to pay your way into the city. The catch is, you and your brother will have to work off the debt. For a year. A year? It's the best I could do. Trust me when I say a bunch of refugees won't get a better option anywhere else. So you're selling us into indentured servitude? That's your idea? Think of it as having a job waiting for you in your new home. I guess it's only a year, right? I managed to convince my contacts to come to the gallows to meet you personally. Miran heads up the mercenary company, the Red Iron. They're looking for recruits. A Thenril. I guess you might call her a smuggler. Either one of them can help you. All you need to do is find them in the courtyard and convince them you're worth the trouble. What kind of man is this, Miran? He's a hired sword. What do you expect him to be like? I wouldn't bring him home for dinner or anything, but he's got a decent reputation. I wouldn't have asked him if I thought he'd cross you. What do you think about this, Carver? What can I say? Better here than nowhere. Let's find them and see what they have to say. Oh, Gamlin, I don't know about this. It's a lot of coin, Leandra. Don't go expecting our name to carry the kind of weight it used to. And what of me? I will not allow others to incur debts on my behalf. <laughs> Can't see that it makes a difference. You look like a lady who can pull her own weight. Then you'll come with us. I... have no real option. Thank you. Miran. Huh. So you're Hawk, the nephew. Your uncle talked up a storm about you. He better not be blowing more smoke out his ass. I'm ready to prove myself. Noble bastard named Friedrich is here in the gallows. Gave us bad info. Almost killed my men. Now he's hiding out here. Waiting for a ship. He sees us coming, he'll run for sure. But he doesn't know you. Go kill him and his men. We'll make sure no one asked why. Have you checked the courtyard again? He's still out there, but he's alone. And he's not making a move. I don't trust this. What will we do when the ship comes? Wait, who are you? I demand to know what you're doing here. Sorry, but you brought this on yourself. 
Miran sent you. Don't just stand there, kill them! To arms! We've done as you asked. Good. May the bloody vultures feast on his corpse and shit him into the ocean. <laughs> I'm telling you, I love this guy. Welcome to the Red Iron. Tell your uncle I'm making the arrangements now. Any luck? Yes. They've agreed to help us. I'll speak to Mirren and see when the bribes can be made. Wait here. I guess we did it. We're here to stay, at least for a while. The blight may still spread, but for now, we have a new home. If only Bethany were here with us. And Wesley. Let's just see what happens. We have a long year ahead of us. Thus began the champion's first year in Kirkwall. Word arrived from across the sea that the hero of Ferelden had defeated the Blight. But Lothering was destroyed. Kirkwall was the champion's home now. So he made his name, settling his debts with the mercenaries. It was a busy year in the city. That's when the Kunari landed. A great storm had caught their ship and left hundreds of warriors stranded in the city, waiting to return home. That's also when the trouble began with the mages. The Templars had become very powerful under Knight Commander Meredith. But most importantly, that's when I first met the champion.
Andraste's tits, human. You know how many people want to hire onto this expedition? Look, we know you're going into the deep roads. You'll need to hire the best, and we're... No! You're too late. Already done. The money from this trip could fix everything. You need us. We fought Darkspawn. Look, precious. I don't care if you tore the horns off an ogre with your bare hands. You make him understand. We're running from your bloody Templars. My brother has a point. It's on his head, but it's still valid. Oh, thanks for that. So what about it, Bertrand? We're just what you need. You're looking for a quick way out of the slums, right? You and every other Ferelden in this dump. Find another meal ticket. Well, back to waiting for someone to turn us in. It'll get harder if we're at each other's throats. I know. It just seems like you either die in this city or you end up like the scum we're bargaining with. We need coin, status, something we can shove in that dwarf's face and keep people off our backs. And all I can think of is Uncle Gamlin. He got us into the city, more or less. If there's a chance, he can push Bartrand. Worth checking, I guess. What else can we do? We're losing ground, and I don't fancy waking up in the gallows. Hey! I knew a guy once who could take every coin out of your pockets just by smiling at you. But you, you don't have the style to work high town, let alone the Merchant's Guild. You might want to find yourself a new line of work. <laughs> Off you go. <clears throat> How do you do? Varric Tethrus, at your service. I apologize for Bartrand. He wouldn't know an opportunity if it hit him square in the jaw. But you would? I would. What my brother doesn't realize is that we need someone like you. He would never admit it either. He's too proud. I, however, am quite practical. There must be some way to persuade your brother to hire us on. We don't need another hireling. We need a partner. The truth is, Bartrand's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he can't do it. Invest in the expedition. Fifty sovereigns and he can't refuse. Not with me there to vouch for you. It sounds interesting, but if I had any gold, I wouldn't need this job. You need to think big. There's only a brief window after a blight when the Deep Roads won't be crawling with Darkspawn. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. Come on. The dwarf makes some sense. No offense. Look, you started this, and it's a good idea. Certainly better than ending up in the gallows. We work together, you and I, and before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. What do you say? You have a deal. Perfect. Kirkwell's crawling with work. You set aside some coin from every job and you'll have the money in no time. Sure. Easy. But... Maybe Aveline's got some bounties out. She joined the city guard, right? We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the hanged man, maybe. I'll be there when I'm not with you. Now, let's go see what trouble we can stir up. <laughs> Keep a hand on your coin, Hawk.
cut purses in High Town than in the rest of the city. Combined. One so wealthy could use a new pair of boots, yes? Hawk, long time no see, my friend. Worthy, when did you get back into town? Oh, just a month or so ago. Things didn't work out in Orzammar. You still with the Red Iron? It was just a year you were with them, right? I'm looking to become an explorer, of a sort. I heard. Bartrand's hard to take. But his information is usually good. Hard to take? <laughs> That's putting it mildly. I'll tell you what. I still have my old contacts. You need some rune crafting done, I can arrange it for you. Take care, Hawk. Don't get dead. You know, Junior, it's ear. much resemblance there is between you two. We're brothers. What's eerie about that? <laughs> oh, you thought I meant Hawk. I was talking about Gamlin. Maker, I hate you, dwarf. Nothing to see here.
They'll let anyone into high town these days. How much longer do I have to wait? Aveline. Hello, Hawk. Been a while, hasn't it? What? Oh, right. Sorry. It feels like we just talked. I've been keeping an eye on you. Information is one of the few perks of this job. Watch out for Bartrand. He's a son of a bitch. Still having trouble? I thought you were past all that. Lately, I don't know. I've been pushed out to some dead patrols. Maybe I stepped on someone's toes. You can be... forceful. My charm, right? I should be able to go where I'm needed. In fact, I might have a job for you. Let me know if you want to do a favor for Kirkwall. Otherwise, I'm here if you need me. Maker knows I could use more satisfying work. It's been a year settling in. Are you all right? You don't need to coddle me. I am where I am. How close I hold my memories is my own business. This must be a very different pace from serving King Caelan. I love that life. But there's a new king for a new Ferelden. Seems cocksure, but I guess he was there when the Archdemon fell. Can't fault an active hand. It's just one more change, though. The real end for me was Ostagar. What about you, Carver? You were there. Do you feel something similar? No. All right, then. Bit of a tit, your brother. Seems like Kirkwall suits you. It has been a challenge. Lots of opportunity. If you're the type the locals want. Are you? If you argue enough, you kind of convince yourself. All right, Aveline. You have something worth doing. My patrols may be empty walks in the dark, but there's something big coming up, and I could use you. An ambush, probably for a caravan, although I can't find any shipments that match up. Doesn't matter, though. I women waiting for someone to rob. I'm putting a stop to it, my district or not. You have a name, or anything else to go on? Not important. If we show up and they attack, they're bad. Simple as that. I'll wager it's smugglers, though. Like I said, seems like an obvious trap for a caravan. You've been nosing around outside your commission? I have contacts. And they're complaining about a lack of meat. Thugs and such. Someone is hiring. And one or two were told to prepare for travelers. You want to be good at this job? You pay attention to what's missing and when people arrange escape routes. Seems like you'd want to share this with your fellow guards. I will, if you sit on your hands. I'll send my alerts and someone else will lead a patrol. But there's profit and influence to be had. You're my friend, so I'm offering. Aveline, you've got yourself a partner. I knew I could count on you. They're hidden up Sundermount, remote and rough, but we can make good time with a shortcut this side. And no, you can't run off and do it without me. I trust you, but I have to be there. You're acting on behalf of the Guard. The Guard will throw you out if you kick that wall one more time.
Another place that wouldn't have me. Let's just go. I don't think I can do that. How much longer do I have to wait? Good day, Sarah. 